You have to learn about your deen. And then you have to translate those, act- those knowledge into actions. The problem is that we don't translate, we talk, you know. How often do you see brothers, they're talking for hours about the decadence of the Muslim Ummah. Come Fajr Salah, you can't wake up for the Fajr Salah. You can't wake up for the Fajr Salah, you can't change yourself, and you're talking about changing the world. You know there is something which is withholding the help of Allah, and I'll tell you what it is. It is my and your actions. It is my and your actions. Because we have to be people of character. People should see our character. How often do you see people who have a good character? And they start practicing. And now they don't want to give anybody salam anymore. The Prophet ﷺ said, None of you can enter into Jannah until he believes. And none of you can be a believer until he loves his Muslim brother. And shall I tell you a way of increasing that love? Give each other salam. Love your Muslim brother. But for us, everything divides us. The smallest thing divides us. We can always find something to divide us. You know, you come from, you come from Africa, you come from the Middle East, we come from the subcontinent, and if that's not good enough, you come from Bangladesh, I come from Pakistan, and if that's not good enough, then we go closer. You come from Sarhad, I come from Karachi, and if that's not good enough, then you belong to the Jat Bradri, you belong to this family, I belong to this family. You can always find things to divide us. You come from Somalia, I come from Pakistan, I come from Gujarat. You can always find things to divide you. But why don't we speak about those things which unite us? And what is that? It's La ilaha illallah. That's what unites us. And therefore, my dear respected brothers and sisters, and seriously speaking, we have to be people of actions. We have to contribute towards our society. We have to put positively back into our society. We were a nation whose first revelation was Iqra. Read. And you look at how illiterate our youngsters are. How illiterate our youngsters are. How do you expect the help of Allah to descend? You look at our areas. 50 some Muslim areas, 50-60% of women don't even know their fard of ghusl. These are mothers, these are wives. They cook and clean for their children all their life. They cook. How are you going to have barakah in your house? When you have women who don't even know how to purify themselves. All their lives they go, go spend in a state of impurity. And when they die and they are given the bath, they are given the ghusl, this is the only time that they become pure. How do you expect the help of Allah to descend? And therefore I say one thing. You know, one thing, first step we need to take is that we need to make, create some muhabba and ulfa amongst us.